All Yanko Camaros are rare, but this one's like one of 10, and we'll show you why. First generation Camaros from 1967 through 1969 have always been popular choices for high performance muscle car enthusiasts. Even when they were new, they were available with a bunch of different engine combinations and suspension options that made these cars well suited for drag racing and road racing alike. And Chevrolet built some pretty cool versions right from the factory that were available at dealers nationwide. Uh, including the Z28 and the SS models. 1969 Yanko Camaros were built by Chevrolet, but they featured engine options that you couldn't get in a regular production Camaro. Using the central office production order system, a racing Chevy dealer named Don Yanko was able to get Chevy to build these cars with 427s under the hood. Now Yanko originally was racing Stinger Corvairs in 1966, but when the Camaros hit the streets, he knew that these were great platforms to be modified. So in 67 and 8, he was selling transplant engine conversions in Camaros out of his dealership. The top engine for a 68 Camaro, for example, was a 396 cubic inch V8. But Yanko was able to order 427s and install them at his dealer and sell them on the street. He actually built up quite a dealer network of different dealerships around the country that were authorized to make the Yanko conversions and sell them as Yanko cars. But 1969 was a different year altogether. Uh, the Camaro changed just a little bit and Yanko along with other dealers around the country uh, had enough influence on Chevrolet to work with a gentleman inside named Vince Piggins to create what was called the Central Office Production Order to where General Motors did the majority of the work on installing a 427 in a 69 Camaro and then offered them as special edition cars. So the right dealers with the right numbers could order these Copo cars or the central office production order cars pre-fitted with 427s to sell at their dealers to racers around the country. And Yanko was perhaps the strongest of these dealers ordering 201 1969 Copo 427 Camaros, but he didn't stop there. Uh, the Yanko Supercar Camaro received a bunch of other modifications to make it ready to race when the new owner took possession. Uh, these things made 450 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque, uh, with an 11 to 1 compression ratio. They had a very stout bottom end, a solid camshaft, an aluminum intake manifold, and uh, high performance exhaust manifolds, and this thing was designed to go. An interesting note on this particular car is that it retains California emissions equipment in the form of an air pump. Most of these got ripped off when the car went racing because they robbed horsepower. Of those 201 1969 Camaros fitted with the Yanko package. 171 were fitted with the Muncie M21 close ratio four speed transmission. And the others came with automatic turbo 400 transmissions. Uh, our car today features the original M21 four speed. <laughs> 1969 Yanko Camaros only came in six different colors. Hugger Orange, Le Mans Blue, Daytona Yellow, Rally Green, Fathom Green, and Olympic Gold like this car here. They didn't make any red ones, white ones, or black ones, and they only made 10 of them in the gold, and only two have white stripes. So this is the rarest color combo of any Yanko 69 Camaro. But these cars got more high performance goodies than just a 427, like a four core radiator to keep these things cool. The front sway bar uh, taken basically straight from a Z28 Camaro, uh, power front disc brakes, a 12 bolt rear differential with a 410 posit traction rear axle assembly, some visual cues like the stripe package 
a lower front spoiler and a rear deck lid spoiler as well, and special Yanko badges all the way around the car. Inside a Yanko Camaro, you won't find much except for high performance instrumentation, a 140 mile an hour speedometer, and a very cool Stuart Warner green line tachometer strapped to the steering column. It's an eight grand tack. Uh, these things redlined right about 6,500, so you wanted to shift that sucker about 6,200 so they didn't over rev that 427. In this car, you see an ammeter below the dash, an oil pressure gauge, and a temperature gauge, and above that is an AM radio. This car has got a four speed with no console. The SYC badge you'll find on the headrest, and nothing fancy like air conditioning or other creature comforts, because it was built to go on short trips. You know, about a quarter mile at a time. Yenko cars are always intriguing, and not just because of the performance, but also because of the stories that surround these cars. And there's a variety of Yenko cars in the Brothers Collection. We invite you to come check them out on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com. And while you're there, you can subscribe to our channels so that you'll never miss an episode or another Yenko on Muscle Car of the Week.